All right, guys. Here we go. Ready to do another drink for you. So um, today we're going to play with some Siddiqui rum. Um, you may have seen some of the other videos that I've done before, and if not, then let me tell you a little bit. Um, Siddiqui rum is this really amazing rum that you need to try. It is so different than your other rums. Um, it drinks like a whiskey. Um, you can just sip on it. It's super smooth. It's got a little bit of smokiness to it. Um, it seems like there's other seasons in there, seasoning and, and taste flavors in there. It's just really neat stuff. So um, I encourage you to go out and grab some Siddiqui rum. It's really reasonably priced. You can find it in most of your liquor stores. So go for it. Just try it. You know what I mean? Just get it and just start playing with it. Okay. Um, I don't know what the flavors of Saudi Arabia are, but I wanted just based on the smell of it, I wanted to start playing with some stuff. And, um, and I wanted to do a drink that was just a little bit different. So we've done a few of them. Like a man, we did the Siddiqui Manhattan and the Siddiqui Old Fashioned. We've done a handful of different drinks. Um, but in this case, I wanted to do a twist on a flip, right? So a whiskey flip. Um, any type of flip generally has whatever your spirit is. You've got spirit, um, sugar, egg, and some seasoning, some spices, whatever that is. Um, if you add milk to that, um, and the yolks of your egg, then you're pretty much getting into the nog world, but we're not nogging about that right now. So um, what we're gonna do is the flip, and the flip is really just the egg white and then not using any cream, all right? Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna play with a Siddiqui flip, and in this case, because it still gives you the warm fuzzies and it just is kind of just this really comforting drink, um, this one is called the cardigan, all right? So here we go, all right. Very easy to make. We're gonna start with our Siddiqui rum, and we're gonna go ahead and do two ounces of the Siddiqui. I was speaking with the owner of the company, and I made some drinks for him, and this is one of the ones I made for him, um, and he said that in his opinion, because he grew up in Saudi Arabia, um, that this was the most familiar to him as far as the flavors of what he thought reminded him so much of Saudi Arabia. So I could only go off of that because I've never been there and I don't really know the flavors. All right, so we're going to start with those two ounces of that. Um, I believe that we're just doing a half ounce of simple syrup in there. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, it is a half ounce simple syrup. Just a wee bit, because we don't want it too sweet. There we go, half ounce of that. And then we're just gonna do a touch of, of orange, fresh orange juice and a touch of fresh lime juice. I mean, uh, lemon juice, excuse me. And it's not a whole bunch. I think we're doing a quarter ounce each. Yeah, a quarter ounce, so it's really not that much at all. Okay. There we go. And we'll just squeeze that right on into the jigger there to make sure that we got the right measurement. Just about there. There we go, a quarter ounce of that. Just a touch, don't need much. And then lemon, same thing, just a quarter ounce of lemon. Okay, we'll give a little squeeze of that in there. We got some seeds too, but that's all right. We'll strain those out. <clears throat> okay. That's it, quarter ounce of that. And then we're gonna go ahead and use uh, the cardamom uh, bitters on there. And this we're gonna go ahead and do three dashes of cardamom bitters. One, two, three. This one comes out a little bit slow, so you gotta, you gotta eyeball it. Even though you do the shake, sometimes the drops don't come out. So once you see it, you know you got it. Okay, so that's it. Oh, it smells amazing. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and do egg white in there. These are fresh eggs, so you wanna make sure if you're buying them from the store, you wanna find the furthest date out that you can just to make sure they're fresh. If you live on a farm or a ranch, you're all good to go because those eggs coming right out of the hens are perfect, okay? So that's it, just the egg white, not the yolk. Okay. And then we're good. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a dry shake, because if you're playing with eggs, you wanna dry shake it first 
That's gonna kind of open it up and whip it around, almost like you're doing a, a heavy whipped cream or something like that. You want those egg whites to open up. So we're gonna do a dry shake first for about 15 seconds. Hey! We got some exciting video games going on in the other room. All right, and now we're ready to ice it down. I'm gonna release that gas. Kind of, there's a little bit of gas in there. Okay. You'll already see some of the foam that's coming off of that, just from that dry shake that we did. Okay, and now we're gonna do another 20 seconds with ice in there. We're using a rocks glass. Drop the cube in. And we're gonna strain this right over the top. You get this beautiful silky kind of frothy head right on the top of there. Oh man, look at that. It's beautiful. Okay. The garnish on this is, you can just get these almost at any grocery store. We're actually doing a um, dried mango in a chili powder. There we go. So we'll start with that. And you can certainly nibble on this. It smells good when you're drinking it. There it is. But it also tastes good. I usually go about halfway through that drink and then I'll nibble on that thing as we go. And then you're doing a little dusting of fresh cinnamon right there on the top. And that's it right there. That is the Oasis. So tasty. Cheers. Enjoy.